Hey everyone, it's Retro Geek here, bringing you a real quick video. Um, <laughs> this was actually something that I, that, um, I didn't even realize until I, I had a couple of videos that popped up on my feed um, that sort of pointed this out, and I thought, yeah, that, that is kind of weird. So I wanted to talk about it and get you guys' thoughts. Uh, so as always, make sure that you leave a comment on what you think down below. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to try to keep this video short and sweet for you, so that way we don't have to have this whole, um, this whole long discussion thing. So, as you can tell by the title card, uh, we're talking about Fall Guys and Genshin Impact. It seems to be something that was announced initially for the Nintendo Switch, but for some reason hasn't come. Now, I don't believe in the whole power argument. Let's just go ahead and knock that right out of the park, because if you've got games that look as good as they do like Nintendo Switch Sports, Breath of the Wild 2, um, these games that look like they should even be running on the Switch at all, and then you got games like Doom Eternal that really shouldn't even be running on the Switch, that they managed to, uh, you know, grind down and all that stuff and, and, and get it to work. Fall Guys should be able to work. I mean, Fall Guys is not a, a physically demanding game. But also, if you think about the fact that these games can technically run also on iOS and Android devices, uh, and some, some, not all, some Android devices can kind of be considered low-end PCs, like they're very low um, to where they should even run games either, they technically are, um, but the reason I want to talk about it is because if we look at this here, okay, we have something that shows that in February of 2021, Fall Guys was announced for Nintendo Switch. Xbox One and Series X. Xbox Series X is the key thing to keep in mind here. Okay, so we had that announced for all the consoles to come out last year. And what was the reason that they were citing that they couldn't get it to come over? Oh, cross compatibility amongst all versions of the game. Well, if I think of games like Fortnite and Apex Legends and Overwatch and all these other games uh, that have, at least in my opinion, I believe they have huge demand um, for the online multiplayer servers, a game like Fall Guys and Genshin Impact shouldn't have that big of a demand on their, on their online. So when I think about, well, what could it be? Who amongst all three of those companies, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo, has had an issue in the past with cross-compatibility? I'm having a hard time pinpointing exactly, um, and I don't want to speculate anything as far as that goes, because who knows, there could have been, there easily could have been something that was keeping these games from coming over. Um, maybe it was something with the online. Maybe they found something in the Series X that... Um, or maybe even the Xbox One. It's just like, we can't get this to run properly. I don't know why, but I do know that if you go to stuff like... Um, the Nintendo Switch is... Um, I'm sorry, Nintendo's official site on it. You'll see that they still have it announced as coming in 2022. They still have it coming. So it's not like the developers flat out said we're not coming out the game anymore. But they seem to keep pushing it back. But interestingly enough, if you, if you go to the sites for those companies, uh, you'll see that there is one particular system that happens to start with a P that happens to have all of them listed. There's no Xbox logo, there's no Switch logo. Um, so that's just weird. And the only thing I can think of is that maybe it has something to do with Sony still having some sort of a some sort of a grudge with Nintendo. I don't know why, because the whole PlayStation debacle thing was decades ago and they become vastly um, popular with their PlayStation brand 
And you can't get mad at Nintendo for dominating the Japanese market. I mean, it's Nintendo. They've been around for over a hundred years. They are a part of that culture. You know, they've had taxis and hotels and they've owned baseball teams. And Nintendo has a very rich history. And the way Japanese people are, they are loyal to Japanese companies. It's one reason why Microsoft has a hard time penetrating that market also. Is because... For years they've been trying to get into the Japanese market, but Japan looks at an, at an American-made product and it's like, no thanks, we have, you know, a Japanese-made product. They would rather support that. Just like there are people in America who would do the exact same thing. They want to buy American-made products. They don't want anything that's made in Japan or China or Taiwan or anything like that. They want American cars. They want American food, you know, they, they they want everything from America. Nothing wrong with that, if that's your preference. I go wherever I'm hungry, and I will buy whoever has the exclusives that I want to play. Now, that being said, it is a little bit disappointing for me to hear this, because um, Sony, I think, needs to play nice, you know. Um, I love Sony. They have some great exclusives that I love to play. Um, they've had some great memories for me from the PS3, PS4, PS5, and you know, even the, the PSP and the, the Vita. Um, I own all the consoles, I have something to play on everything, like I, I like the Resistance series, Jack and Daxter, one of my all time favorites, PS2, I remember Primal, and um, Dark Cloud 2, I'm, I'm not going to go into all that now, that's another thing, but I'm just saying that I'm not holding anything against Sony in that regards because, look, you've got some great games. But we're in a completely different day and age now. You've got to play nice and have cross compatibility and just allow games to come over. Because, tr truthfully, if you are paying for these developers of Fall Guys and, these develop and the, the, the developers of Genshin Impact, if you're paying for them to stay exclusive, on the PS4 and PS5, what are you gaining? Because Fall Guys is on PC and on mobile. So that doesn't get people to buy your product. That doesn't get people to buy a PS4 or PS5. But in Uncharted Wood, a God of War Wood, you know, there's all kinds of games that you can release. You've got all kinds of developers underneath your belt. So I don't know. I don't think it's a power issue. I think Genshin Impact can run fine on the Switch. I believe Fall Guys could run fine on the Switch. I think that the online multiplayer could run fine on the Switch. But again, just going based upon the fact that they said that these versions of the game were delayed to 2022, citing a greater focus on cross-compatibility among all versions of the game, it reminds me of a similar excuse that we had with the whole Minecraft Fortnite thing when it seemed like Nintendo and Microsoft were playing nice and like yeah if you got Minecraft you just play for Xbox players no problem yeah if you got Minecraft you play with Switch players no problem yeah if, if you've got Fortnite you can play with you know Xbox and PC players no problem the only issue was Sony didn't want to do that and I don't know why because if anybody <laughs> I mean, let's just be honest. The way that Nintendo is sometimes with their whole trying to guard their customers. Um, if anybody was to do that, I would expect that from Nintendo, not from Sony. But that's just my two cents on the matter. I think I kind of have gone around in a circle on it. And uh, I just wanted to get it off my chest. So, yeah, hopefully, because it says again it's delayed until 2022. I showed you on the website where Nintendo still says it's coming in 2022. Um, hopefully these games come. Because I have a feeling that at the end of the day, it's not going to affect anything. You know, even if they are holding off on them coming over for the sake of, oh, we don't want them to come because it's going to somehow affect PS5 sales. What's affecting PS5 sales is a chip, is a chip shortage, not, not the games. And what's making the Switch sell well is the fact that it's available. And it's got, it's got good games too. 
But also, again, just the fact that Japan is loyal to Japanese companies. I'm pretty sure you can look that up and see it. But that's enough for now. What do you guys think about this topic? If you've watched it, I appreciate you watching it. Um, so, yeah. I might do a video. My next video is probably going to be me talking about how you guys can help me expand my channel. Um, or it might not be. I might wait till Friday and try to come up with a topic to talk about. But for now, I thank you for joining me. Have a good day or a good weekend depending upon whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you next time.